Ring in the new year with amazing savings from Appalachian Wireless. Get the Galaxy S7 for just $49.99 when you sign or renew a two-year service agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. I see very, very few people overcoming this addiction. And Pike Commonwealth's attorney Rick Bartley has dealt with countless drug cases, and now many of those cases involve methamphetamine. It's an epidemic Bartley and local law enforcement have dreaded for years. Prescription pill addiction, when we were facing it, I thought was the worst thing coming and going. But prosecutor friends of mine from downstate said, wait till meth hits you and you'll be singing a new tune. And unfortunately, I think they're right. And meth case among meth case continues to be brought before the Pike County Grand Jury, including two new ones last week. We indicted two people this week for relatively small amounts of meth, but both of them had other pending cases involving meth here in the Pike Circuit Court. According to the separate unrelated indictments, 32-year-old Bruce Jett and 33-year-old Amy Hilton were indicted on first-degree possession charges for allegedly being found by Pikeva police in separate incidents to be in possession of methamphetamine. Bartley said the meth epidemic the area is now experiencing is destructive on a level not seen previously, even with prescription painkiller addiction. This meth addiction is just so powerful that I see very, very few people overcoming this addiction. And the problem with it is it develops very quickly. Just within a week or so of using meth, they're addicted to the point that they'll do anything, give up their families, commit any kind of crime to feed the addiction for meth. Bartley said his experience with meth cases so far has painted a bleak picture for those addicted to the drug. People that get started on it don't quit until they die or until we lock them up. Persons such as Amy Helton and Bruce Jett, allegedly found with meth, could face five years in prison for possession of the drug. And with the ease of making and obtaining meth, the problem is likely to get worse. It's like nothing I've ever seen. Reporting in Pike County for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.